Hello everyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 51 of the Nebraska City Wildcats Dynasty here on NCAA 14. And today we've got the Season 3 National Championship here between the number one ranked Wisconsin Badgers and the number two ranked Nebraska City Wildcats. As you take a look here at the season offensive ranks for both sides, Nebraska City has been led most of the season by uh, redshirt junior quarterback Randall Glopter on a dominant defense. And we'll see if they can shut down this potent Wisconsin attack here today. As hello everyone, welcome to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm Husker Ninja bringing you this national championship action here on the Horn Sports Network. Nebraska City is going to win the toss and they will elect to defer and so Wisconsin will get the ball first here in the national title game. I right, Joel Stave back under center for the Badgers here to begin this national championship game. Back to pass, feeling pressure, down he goes! First play of the game, it's an 8-yard sack. Joel Stave brought down by Matt Ramsauer. The redshirt freshman defensive tackle coming up big here for Nebraska City on this opening drive. That'll set up a 2nd and 18, and that's a good way to start this game if you're a Nebraska City fan. In a big sack on first down. Later in the drive, it is now 3rd and 18. Stave back to pass. Feeling pressure hit as he throws. That'll be incomplete. And it's a three and out. Wisconsin's got a punt. So following the punt, good field position here for Nebraska City as they are starting just about at midfield already. And out comes this offense led by Randall Glopter and Heisman Trophy winner Arthur Irby playing his final game as a Nebraska City Wildcat. We'll see if Irby can go out on top as you... Take a look at his rushing stats on the year, year over 2,000 yards, 13 touchdowns. Definitely a Heisman worthy, you know, Heisman worthy year for him. Irby puts on the spin move, breaks a tackle, falls forward. Big time run in there by Arthur Irby. He's got a gain of eight. Move those chains for the Wildcats. Later in the drive, we got a second and eight here. 5.45 to go, opening quarter. Glopter back to pass, fires over the middle, got him in. Jamal Gonzalez, good for a gain of 19. Or not 19, just 9, but it's still a first down. Now we got a second and six. They give to Irby. Up the middle, Irby's got a ton of running room. 12 yards and the first down for the Wildcats. Five carries, 32 yards on this opening drive for Arthur Irby. Head of the drive, though, now facing a third and 13 are the Wildcats. I think they probably take a field goal if they can't get in the end zone. And Glopter had a man wide open and missed him. That could have been a first down. Instead, they'll settle for the three. And redshirt freshman Adam Williams will put the Wildcats on top 3 nothing. In the un ensuing Wisconsin drive, we got a third and 10 right here. 2.16 to go first quarter. Salve back to pass. Going deep. Knocked away by Aaron Smith. He leaves the team with nine interceptions on the season. Nearly had interception number 10 right there. But Wisconsin's got a punt, and now Nebraska City on their next drive facing third and six. Fires on the slant to Jamal Gonzalez. He's going to be a yard shy of the first down, though, and that's a punt for the Wildcats. First down on what should be the final play of the first quarter. Gordon going to be blown up in the backfield. Loss of two. Melvin Jordan not going anywhere. Bull Mix and the first Wildcat defender to him. About three others joined in to help bring him down. And Jordan finished second in the Heisman race to Arthur Irby. But that will do it for the first quarter here in this national championship game. Nebraska City got a 3-0 lead over Wisconsin. We're three quarters away from back-to-back -back national championships for the Wildcats. We'll see if this Wisconsin offense can get going as we begin the second quarter. Second and 12. Throws underneath Gordon. Gordon going to break one tackle and get the first down on a gain of 13. 
A nice play there by Melvin Jordan to get the first down later in the drive. It's now second and five here. 30 seconds gone here in this second quarter. They'll pitch it out to Gordon. Gordon's got a lot of running room. He's going to be brought down by Mixon, but not before he picks up 11. Melvin Jordan moving the chains right there for the Badgers. Next play they'll give to Gordon again, and this time he's got nowhere to go. Chris Smith, the cornerback there to take him down to the backfield. That's a loss of three. Four carries for six yards so far today for Gordon. And remember, one of those carries was in an 11-yard rush. A give to Gordon again. Gordon's got the edge. He's going to break a tackle from Schneider and knock down a bounds finally, but not before he picks up 23 and a first down as he badgers to move the ball into Nebraska City territory down to about the 36 of the Wildcats. Now that's a first down. We'll see if Wisconsin can finally get something going on the shot. So he got him in. It's Jordan. A.J. Jordan, 18 yards right over the middle. Stave, 3 of 7, 31 yards. And now Wisconsin is in business. They got it. It's not, I don't think they're quite in the red zone, but they're definitely close. Knocking on the door, looking to take the lead. They got it at about the 20, so right on the edge of the red zone. They'll throw underneath. Frederick got a first down again on 11 more. That looked like a slant route. And no Wildcat defender was able to bring him down. That's an easy first down, and now it'll be first and goal. Later in the drive, it's now third and goal. This Wildcat defense looking for a goal line stand. Coming up on 540 to go, first half, they'll give to Jackson. And Vontae Jackson into the end zone, untouched from three yards out. Wisconsin's taking the lead here in the national championship. As that was just great blocking right there, and... Jackson just able to waltz into the end zone. The ensuing Nebraska City drive. We got a third and four here under four and a half to go first half. Glotcher back to pass. Throws dropped. That was dropped by Kendrick Coe. He had the first down, but the senior wideout unable to hold on. That's another Wildcat punt. And Wisconsin can stretch their lead to two scores. Gordon going to break one tackle, but not two. Blown up in the backfield. And this Wildcat defense, with the exception of one drive, has played very, very well. That will force a third and ten. And we will see what Wisconsin has up their sleeves. They need ten here on third down. Stave back to pass. Oh, he knocked away. Harry Hombuckle, the senior safety there to make the play. And that's going to be a punt for the Badgers. Glopter going to keep it himself on his design QB run on first down. He's got 13 yards and another first. Maybe that will be what this Nebraska City offense needs to get going. Later in the drive, now facing a third and one. Got about a minute 50 left in this first half. They're milking the clock down a little bit. They're going to give it to Maxwell, and the fullback is going to have enough for the first down on a gain of two. They give the ball to Zachary Maxwell, and the fullback comes up big for him right there. Glopter back to pass. Got a man wide open. It's Smith. Micah Smith, the sophomore tight end, wide open underneath. And that's a gain of 24. And with that completion, Randall Glopter has set the Nebraska City record for career passing yards. He's at 8,823 right now. And if he comes back for a senior season, they will only add on. Now, Nebraska City was unable to get the ball into the end zone and get another first, but they will settle for a field goal try. Williams had the leg, but missed it left. And so they go to try and make it a one-point one game, knowing they get the ball to start the third quarter, but they can't come through. And so now we'll have... What will amount to a Hail Mary attempt? Down goes Save. The pressure got to him. And that was Smith coming free off the edge. He just got there completely free, uninterrupted. And that will take us to halftime. A big sack there by this Nebraska City defense to keep the damage to 7-3. to three. Because if they complete that and they get a touchdown, who knows what happens. So big time sack there keeps the score. 7-3 to three at halftime. We're halfway to crowning a national champion. Wisconsin's got the halftime lead, but Nebraska City with the ball to start the third quarter. 
They are facing a third down and two right here. Don't want to go three and out to start the game. They give to Irby. Irby's got the first down, but the ball's loose. It's picked up by Goldberg. No one's going to catch him. He's going to break a tackle and get into the end zone. you got to be joking me. Arthur Irby, the Heisman winner, had the first down. But the ball came out, and Arthur Goldberg going to pick it up and rumble it back into the end zone. And just like that, it's now 14-3 instead of Nebraska City. Maybe going down the field and getting a touchdown of their own to take the lead. They're now down by 11. But wait a second. They're going to review the play. It looked like a fumble live, and so that's why there was no challenge. But the booth will review it. And it does look like Irby was down. I think it should be first down Nebraska City. And the call will indeed be overturned. Take that touchdown off the board. And now Nebraska City with a fresh set of downs. Glopter rolling out. No one open. He's going to lose the football. And this time it is a turnover. So one play after getting the scoop and score reversed. Randall Glopter coughs it up. And this is not good for Nebraska City, Wisconsin. They're in great field position. They can take an 11-point lead right here. This Nebraska City defense got to come up big. Second and five, they'll give to Gordon. Nothing doing. He's going to lose a yard stood up right away by Chris Smith. And a big-time play by the corner to make the tackle and not let Gordon get that first down. So that's up a third and six. They would throw an incompletion, but they're going to go for it on fourth down. They don't want the field goal. They want a two-score lead. Salve throws on. He got a man. That's caught by Frederick for a gain of 15. And Nebraska City got the fourth down they wanted, but they couldn't make a play. And now it'll be first and goal. That is not what you wanted to see have happen right there. Salve threw the pressure. He's going to be sacked. Loss of eight. Nebraska City's not giving up. There's Alonzo Kemp making the big time play in the backfield. That is a huge sack. And now maybe Nebraska City can limit the damage to a field goal try here. It's third and goal. I think if they get to fourth and goal, they will kick the field goal. Stavey back to pass. Going toward the end zone. It's picked. Intercepted by Stephen Hall. And the true freshman middle linebacker has just turned away the Badgers. But wait a second. A flag is down. But it's just going to be a clipping on the return. The interception still stands. And so the true freshman middle linebacker making one of the biggest plays of the season. Turning Wisconsin away in the red zone. And... Going to limit the damage to no points. It's still only a four-score game, or four-point game, sorry. They'll give the ball to Maxwell for the first down. Now they'll give it to Irby. Irby's got some daylight. Irby got to break one tackle, but still dragged down. It's still going to be enough for the first, though. 16 carries, 85 yards for Irby before being brought down on that last play by Michael Caputo. Now... Uh, now, later in the drive, we got a second and seven. They'll throw underneath to Smith. Micah Smith, 14 yards and a first down. Move those chains for the Wildcats. Now facing a third down and six. 120 to go in the third. They'll throw. Caught by Meadows. Burden Meadows, the senior wide receiver, making a big play. Good for a gain of eight. Later in the drive, facing a second and four. They are into Wisconsin territory looking to take the lead. They'll try and throw underneath, but that's going to be intercepted. Glopter never saw Diggs standing there. He thought he had an easy dump off to, the, to Irby, but Diggs said, not so fast, I'll take that interception. And so right as the Wildcats are on the move looking to either take the lead or make it a one-point game, Wisconsin comes up with the big interception. And now they got the ball. Second and ten. They got it inside the 40 of the Wildcats. Throws underneath. Picked again. It's Hall again. Back-to-back -back drives. The true freshman middle linebacker Stephen Hall comes up big. He comes up with turnovers on back-to-back -back drives. And that will end two Wisconsin scoring threats. 
the true freshman middle linebacker making a big time play on back-to-back -back drives in this national title game. And he's keeping Nebraska City in it almost single-handedly as we are one quarter away from crowning a national champion. Nebraska City trails Wisconsin 7-3 thanks to some third-quarter heroics by true freshman Stephen Hall. It's a third and three early in the fourth. They'll give the ball to Irby. And Arthur Irby plowing up field for a gain of 18. 22 carries, 122 yards. And the senior does not want to go out with a loss in the title game. He wants to go out a national champion. Later in the drive, it is now second and four for the Wildcats. They're inside the 35 of Wisconsin. They'll give to Irby. Irby's going to pick up five and get the first down. And so far in this fourth quarter, Arthur Irby is being clutch. The senior going to spin off a tackle right there, pick up four in the first down. He keeps the chains moving, keep feeding him the ball. Now we got five minutes to go here in the national championship. Nebraska City in the red zone, got it out the 15 of the Badgers. The gift to Irby on the counter. Irby got to break a tackle, but he's not going to be able to get the touchdown. It's a gain of 10. He'll call it second and inches for a second. It looked like he might take that the distance. No matter on the next play, they'll give it to him right up the middle. He'll easily pick up the first. And the senior has taken control of this fourth quarter. Just willing Nebraska City down the field by himself. Run the clock down. They'll give it to Randall. Jeremy Randall, he's into the end zone. The redshirt freshman halfback coming up with the go-ahead score. Although that drive is all brought to you by Arthur Irby. The senior took him down there, but Randall cashed it in. And the redshirt freshman making the big play when needed. They gave Irby a break. Jet and the redshirt freshman delivered. As you take a look at this offense at a glance. 235 yards of offense for the Wildcats. Only like 70 some for Wisconsin. Now facing second and six. They'll throw underneath caught by Reggie Love. And Wisconsin got three and a half minutes, three timeouts. They can try and make another march down the field. Nebraska City has only had one drive on defense where they struggled. And to have a second one right here, Wisconsin could steal the title right back. But on third down, the pressure gets to Stave. He's got to throw it away. And Nebraska City is expecting the batters will go for it with 2.45 left. But they're going to trust their defense and punt it away. The Badgers have put the game in the hands of of the defense, and so that means Nebraska City puts the ball in the hands of Randall Glofter and Arthur Irby. They got a Heisman winner and one of the best passers in the country to try and seal this national championship and seal back-to-back -back titles for the Wildcats. They'll give to Irby on first down. He's going to have enough for the first on a gain of 10. Wisconsin will burn a timeout. It's first down. They'll give to Irby up the middle. He's got nine. It'll be second and one. Wisconsin down to one timeout. They'll give to Irby again. Irby says, get off me, Wisconsin defender. He says, get off me, young fella. Throws him to the ground and gets the first. Now Nebraska City needs one first down to end the game. Third and 11. They'll go to the screen. Wisconsin not expecting it. Irby's got a big gain. That'll do it. 28 yards on third and 11. They go to the halfback screen. What a play call. And Randall Glopter comes out in victory formation. He will take the knee. And Nebraska City is your national champion. They have won back-to-back -back titles. And Arthur Irby goes out on a high note winning the national championship. As we take a look at the you know, team stats, this was a defensive battle. And Wisconsin, it looked like they were going to take the momentum after that fumble on the first drive of the third quarter. 
It looked like all the momentum was going Wisconsin's way. Nebraska City was in trouble. But Stephen Hall earns my vote for player of the game because twice he turned the Badgers away when they were in Nebraska City territory. The true freshman played big today. Came up with the two clutch interceptions, one right near the goal line. And that helped keep Wisconsin from adding on to their lead. And finally, they were able to ride Arthur Irby into the end zone. Although, technically, they rode him down to like the two, and then Jeremy Randall got into the end zone. But none of that would have been possible if Stephen Hall had not been clutch in the third quarter. We take a look at the stats. Glopter went 8 of 12, 101 yards, and a pick. A 120.7 QB rating. Arthur Irby threw a pass somewhere. I don't remember where that happened, but okay, whatever you say. But Glopter completed 66% of his passes, and we'll have to see if he's played his final game. As Irby goes out with 34 carries, 185 yards, would have liked to have gotten him a touchdown, but he balled out in his final game. He outperformed Melvin Gordon. Glopter had five carries, negative four yards, and a fumble. Maxwell had two carries for four yards. And Jeremy Randall, the redshirt freshman halfback, had one carry, but it was for the ultimately game-winning touchdown. Receiving-wise, Smith had three for 47. Gonzalez had two for 14. Irby had one for 28. Meadows had one for eight. And Coe had one for four. Bo Mixon led the defense with six tackles. He had one for loss. Smith, Hall, and Fox all had three. Henry Fox is a senior as well. Kevin Schneider, the true freshman, had two. Kemp had two. And a whole host of defenders and non-defenders had one. Chris Smith had two tackles for loss. He led the defense there. Fox, Mixon, Hall, Ramsauer, Kemp, and Derek Smith all had one. Drew Smith, Matt Ramsauer, and Alonzo Kemp all had a sack. Stephen Hall, the my vote for player of the game, comes up with two huge third quarter interceptions to keep Nebraska City in striking distance. And without those, I think the Badgers are, are national champions and Nebraska City goes home losing their first game in the national championship. Williams went one of two. He missed a 50-some yarder. His longest, the one he made, was one of 32. But Nebraska City gets it done. They win back-to-back -back titles. This one was a defensive slugfest with Wisconsin. Well, they take down the Badgers 10-7. to They win back-to-back -back titles. And now their, their biggest question is... What's going to happen with Randall Glopter? That will do it for me. We will send you out to our studio for one last, one last studio update. What a good season, everyone. I'm Husker Ninja saying so long, everyone. We'll send you out to our studios. Until next season here, you've been watching Nebraska City Football on the Horn Sports Network. But hello everyone, welcome to our studio. As you can see, Nebraska City gaining the national championship. They got the trophy, they got a trophy for back-to-back -back titles. But the big question going into the offseason, will Randall Glopter go pro? You can see his career stats. He's a very good quarterback. And it would be a huge blow if he declared, especially with a bunch of offensive receivers leaving. That'll do it for me. I'll see you guys next time, everyone. Have a great day.